Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Card Smarter. Before you can do anything with your Micron 5 on the computer, first you've got to learn how to connect the Micron 5 with Ray Studio 3. Follow along with our Micron 5 Basics video and learn how to make that connection now. The first step happens on the Micron 5. Power your Micron 5 up and click the menu button on the top left. Once in the menu, scroll to the Wi-Fi mode submenu. Once in the submenu, set the Wi-Fi mode to on or auto. You'll accomplish this by pressing the top right button, which is a toggle between on, off, and auto. Now that our Micron 5 has been set up and is ready to make the connection with Ray Studio 3, we can turn our attention to the software. Inside of the software, you'll want to draw your attention to the top left button bar, and you want to make sure that the uh, button for configuration, this double gear icon, is clicked. That's going to give us some updates and some information as the connection is made with the Micron 5. Next, we're going to come up to the Wi-Fi icon, which is the top right corner of the window. Just click on the Wi-Fi symbol, and you'll notice um, any Wi-Fi network that's in range will appear in this list. Any Wi-Fi network is going to be listed at the top, and then below the horizontal rule, you'll see any Micron 5s that are in range of your computer. So this one right here happens to be the Micron 5 from my go-kart, and uh, it's labeled as such. So I'm going to click Connect and begin the connection process. You'll notice in the bottom left-hand side of the window here, under Connected Devices, we saw some status updates happening as a connection was made. And now, under Connected Devices, you see Cart Smarter 911 is listed. That's my Micron 5, so to finalize the connection, I'm going to click on that logger. As I click on the logger, you'll notice in the main work area of the window, we now have uh, a series of tabs listed up here. We're now completely connected to the Micron 5, and from this point, we can do any number of uh, tasks that we might need to do, like downloading data off the logger, adjusting the Wi-Fi settings or properties, adding or removing tracks, or updating firmware. And that's it. That's all you need to do to connect your Micron 5 to Race Studio 3. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're in need of a Micron 5 or any AIM products or accessories, visit our website, cartsmarter.com. On the website, you'll also find opportunities to train with Cartsmarter, both on the Micron 5 and on AIM Race Studio Analysis. www.cartsmarter.com.